Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Friday, December 26th, and today we celebrate the feast of St. Stephen, deacon and first martyr of the church. The scripture for this service, Psalm 28, 2 Chronicles chapter 24, verse 17 to 22. And please join me in singing the first verse of, of the Father's love begun. Of the Father's love begotten, ere the worlds began to be, He is Alpha and Omega, He the source, the ending be. Of the things that are, that have been, and that future years shall see. Evermore and evermore. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, I cry to you, my rock, hear me and answer. Alleluia, Psalm 28, and please recite it together with me. Alleluia, I cry to you, my rock, hear me and answer, lest I be like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry to you, when I lift my hands towards your holy place. Draw me not away with the wicked, nor with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but with evil plans in their hearts. Repay them according to their deeds, and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Repay them according to the work of their hands. Render to them their just deserts. Because they do not regard your actions, nor the works of your hands, you shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed are you because you have heard my prayers. You are my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in you and I am helped. My heart greatly rejoice, and with my song I will praise you. You are the strength of your people. You are the safe refuge of your anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed them and lift them up forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, I cry to you, my rock, hear me and answer. Alleluia. A lesson from the second book of Chronicles, chapter 24, beginning at verse 17. Now, after the death of Joehada, the officials of Judah came and did obeisance to the king. And then the king listened to them. They abandoned the house of Yahweh, the God of their ancestors, and they served the sacred poles and the idols. And wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem for this guilt of theirs. And yet he sent prophets among them to bring them back to Yahweh. They testified against them, but they would not listen. And then the Spirit of God took possession of Zechariah, son of the priest of Joiada, and he stood above the people and said to them, Thus says God, Why do you transgress the commandments of Yahweh, so that you cannot prosper? Because you have forsaken Yahweh, he has also forsaken you. But they conspired against him, and by command of the king they stoned him to death in the court of the house of Yahweh, God Most High. And King Joash did not remember the kindness of that Joey Ada, Zachariah's father, had shown him, but killed his son. As he was dying, he said, May Yahweh see and avenge. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please say the response after each verse. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. 
Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, beloved God Almighty, you are our strength and our shield against all evil, and you help those who trust in you. Do not take us away with the evildoers, but be our safe refuge from the wicked, that our hearts may always rejoice in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Merry Christmas.